I fold my shirt on half and I'm just gonna mark the center with this uh, pen that I have. What I'm doing is I'm practicing and I'm trying to find the way that is easier for me to uh, hoop my shirts. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to get my hoop. I'm going to be using Cutaway Stabilizer and I'm going to put the link in the description box. I'm going to be using my 5x7. At this point, you can tighten it a little bit if you want to. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to open my shirt. And these marks are gonna go away. So I'm just going to insert my hoop. Somewhere right there looks straight. I'm going to get my um, guide and I'm going to find the centers. So it's right there, right there. So as you can see, it's not centered, kind of. But so we are going to push it a little bit more. And that looks a little bit better. As you can see, it's centered in here and up here. So that makes me think it's good right there. I'm going to add some adjustive. And I want to put my hand right here because I don't want it to move. Just do it really careful. Lift it up. And we can roll it back down. And it shouldn't move. Yep, so it's still good. And we can add a little bit more right here if we want to. We don't have to. Right now, we are going to flip the shirt. Very careful. So we want to hold this. My design is gonna be on the entire hoop. I don't really need to check where it's gonna be located. So we're going to start.
I have my fabric, I apply my heat and bond. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the fabric and I'll be right back.
and it's done. And I love it so much. Let's move to the heat press. I got my shirt out of my hoop. And I really like the design. My only uh, concerns is right here. I wonder if it's a little bit too tight, the stitch, because it makes these um, marks and I don't like that. So I need to check into that. The six, um, so beautiful. I mean, everything is perfect except for, um, I mean, I'm supposed, it's supposed to be this way, I'm assuming, but I don't like the, like the packaging that it gets there. I'm going to cut this and I'm just going to leave it. I usually round it up, but I'm going to, I'm not going to do that this time because I'm trying to find out what's the better way to do it. So I'm just going to make a square but a small square. Maybe I'm gonna round it right here. I got my hidden bone. Okay, and it should be ready to apply the hidden ball. So let's move to the heat press. I'm going to be using my A2C. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to iron this shirt. So I see just a little bit of packaging, just a little bit right here. I think it looks really good, so let's um, iron it from the back. So we are going to add our hinged bone. It has a rough size, so that side, so that's going to go. Facing down. And this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow along. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. Share my videos with your friends. Until next time. Thank you.